G'day and welcome to my video on direction and bearing. Let's hope it's a cracker. Today we're looking at the idea of what does it mean for direction and bearing when looking at topographic maps. First of all, direction gives us basically the relative location between two points on a map. For that, we use the idea of a compass. There are four points on the compass, four main points. They're called the cardinal points. These points are north, south, east, and west. Seems fair enough. Yet, what if we want to be more accurate than that? Well, we can look at the midpoint between both of those points. So, for example, the midpoint between north and east, and we'll call that northeast. Same with southeast, southwest, and northwest. On top of that, if we need to get even more accurate, well then, we go the midpoint between north and northeast and call it nor nor east. So, two norths, one east. The exact same thing between east and northeast. We'll call it east nor east. So, there's two lots of east for every north. So, if we fill out the compass that way, it should be relatively self explanatory what each of those things mean. However, what if I'm on a, let's say, a jungle safari and I want to go somewhere 200 kilometers down the road? It's not going to be helpful if I receive the instructions. Look, just head east northeast for 200 kilometers. There's a good chance as I go walking, I may end up a long way away from where I need to go. So how can we be as accurate as possible? when giving directions on a map. That's where bearings come in. Bearings are quite a simple concept. It uses maths, so I'm very sorry about this. The concept is this. If we have, say, north on the map, we'll call that zero degrees. Then, we'll follow around for the bearings, naught, all the way down to 90 degrees, 180 at the bottom, 240, back up to 360 again, which is a revolution, and obviously we're back at zero for north. So what you do is if you had two kind of locations on a map, you would very simply plot north on one of them, then you'd point a line going down to where the next location is, then you'd work out using your protractor what the angle is to that location. That gives us a, to the degree, much more accurate bearing for where the direction is. Obviously, you go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let's just say 12 points, if my maths is correct, to 360. So it's a much more accurate way of doing things, and that is bearings. So hopefully this very short instructional video helped you out when it comes to the geographical skill of direction and bearings.